Okay, I'm in the lobby of the Merlot. All right, let's do it. I'm hacking in. Look at that. Secrets and lies floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. We got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians. Siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. You hear yourself? <laughs> I think someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Second the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. The system. I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. We are not done. Damien, it's over. I'm disconnected. Maurice. Yeah? You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Not a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. Gave the order. <laughs> don't. I don't know. You don't know. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. So what do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was a job, man. I didn't know. He was on the other end of the call. Give me a name. They never gave me a name. Yeah, I'll tell you a name. Go. It's all right, that wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys. I heard stories, man, that like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Sometimes you can't walk away please, from this. Please! Who gave the order? I spoke to him on the phone and he told me where to find you. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. Give me a name. I don't know. A name. Kill me, man. Just fucking kill me. How's your memory now? No. 
Station. Maurice won't talk to me, but I bet he talked to you. Shaking, motherfucker. Shit. Where the hell you been? What? He's talking to me. I leave you for two minutes. Give me my bullets. I tossed them. But you said you'd kill them otherwise. I told you to hold on to them, Jordy. Where you been anyway? I had to make a call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of here. No, too late. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. <laughs> nice shot. Huh. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You did? Oh, yeah. True story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pop, 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 pop. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them, too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. You'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. Great. Punctual cops. I handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice? What do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Hey. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourselves. Shot wounds. I got another corpse. Another fight. Whoa. He's not moving unless I give him a reason.
Don't get smart. How did you two afford VIP ticket? Mm, bet she makes more than you do. Yeah? Hey, yo, what? Didi, calm down, all right? Don't give him nothing they can use. Something tells me if we run you shit stains through the system, we'll come up with plenty we can use. I need to see ID. Both of you. Well, I ain't showing shit. Hey, hey, y'all filming this? You are I want to see this motherfucker. Right, dude. Police are about to lock this whole place down. I'm stuck unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. To the whole stadium? I thought you wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. With all these cops, there's gotta be one around. people so we can play cowboys and Indians. But you got an isolated incident in the basement, we can close the basement. I got no problem with that. This whole place is about to fill up with Chicago PD. That's gonna cause a panic. We need to shut the game down and get people out of here safely. Yeah, doing. Oh, shut it down, eh? I can't make that call. Well, then call somebody who can make that call, please. <sighs> okay, hang on. Anyone see him? 
goddamn trigger man. Just need to break through. How? Push Mori's hard. I'm just not gonna work on this guy, so I need to get inside his head. The guilt is eating him up. I'll give him a couple of days. And then I'll start reaching out. So in finding Maurice was correct. We've gained access to the CTUS backdoor while the police were being distracted by you. Since we both win in this, we'll share what we have. That backdoor allows you some access to the CTUS network. I'm still working on something bigger. Give me time. Distractions, and they can't hide from me.
I'll have to thank CTOS one day. Simple breach of their facial recognition software, and I've got access to everyone's personal details. That guy's out of control. I'm not gonna let him hurt anyone today. Simple trace of his call and he's mine. to talk about. We're done. Deal with You're it. You're so fucking wrong. I'm not done yet. Get away! Stop the now. Your damn business. You saved me. Thank you. I know, I know. The party started. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. Ugh, you make me crazy. Jackson's really looking forward to it. Get over here. We miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there. Sorry, Nick. I need to take this call. I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll, I'll set you up. Pre-owned cars? You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want. And you, if you need it. I just might. How's Maurice doing? Oh, he's all sunshine and buttercups. I'm gonna dump him at my little dumping place. I need him alive, Jordy. Yeah, yeah, alive. Whatever. Goes against your better nature. I'd pop him and be done, but hey, you pay me right, I'll keep him alive as long as you want. I do work for a paycheck. since the funeral. Am I ready? Jack's last birthday. Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holes barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence. Okay. Here it goes. How old are you today? Ten. 
No, I think you're nine. I'm ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. <laughs> ten. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, Twelve. seven, Twelve. eight, nine, <laughs> ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... and yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his first birthday without Lena. Oh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. Jax. Hey. Sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, can we get a hug? Wow. You are... big. <laughs> so, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not gonna stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? <laughs> Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and Mom were both sick as dogs, but Dad insisted his boy was gonna have his birthday cake? <laughs> That thing was an abomination, all burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? <laughs> Listen, the police can trace this call. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid crank. It happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine? He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks. You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Hey, look, Aiden. God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea.
grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. Nikki. Who would pay for something like that? Did you get anywhere with DeadSec? Any of those CTOS hacks? Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Get me done. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. But that's as far as I can see. Okay. I can hack CTOS inside the Loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Loom's building a new CTOS center in the Loop. It's perfect. DedSec tried to attack that center last month. But we failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. And I don't know, understand. You say it's hard right now. It's in my head. The line is private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready. If CTOS doubles their guards, I better double my weapons. What can I do for you? What is it you're looking for today? Take care, man. Over the past few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DedSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is paramount, so we've hired private security for every CTOS control center. These hired keepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In fact, Ms. Gardner, these peacekeepers you refer to are military mercenaries, many with criminal records. Isn't that true? 
Indeed, they've served time in the military, but we should hardly reject our brave soldiers for proudly serving their country, should we? Human networks is well protected. And that gives Chicago citizens the comfort they deserve. That was Blue Spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner. This new security is no joke. I need access. I gotta find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice behind the phone call. Oh, yeah. Stay up, buddy.
and now I am going to cut your throat and put your head in a spice cabinet. And... Honey, is that you? Yeah, yeah, sweetheart. Don't worry, my love. Everything's fine. You go back to sleep, okay? Okay, I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Fucking cunt. What was that? That's inside someone's home. Looks like CTOS is compiling every intimate detail from private citizens. It's no wonder DeadSec despises CTOS. TOS? Already? I'm looking at the network as we speak. You got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler systems online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I could take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Could be fixers in the network. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to try to call her. I'll be in touch. Trace his signal back. I'll find him before he breaches my. There you are. You're mine now. Shit! 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 Oh. We 
got a guy with a gun here. You need to take him out. Watch it, gun! Oh. Oh. You got him. This one fixer down. Now, how many more are out there? Taking an interest in me. Fixers are mercenaries. They work for a paycheck. Someone's issued a contract on me. That's bad fucking news. I remember, buddy. These guys communicate through the grid. Another driving contract. Another good guy somewhere. This won't be a typical taxi service. The trick with these jobs is avoiding the cops. This thing's shot to hell. No. Nope. My rule's your car. That's the job. All right, well, come on, man. Let's go. Hey, what the shit? Eddie's dead. I left him back there. Oh, man, the cops came out of nowhere. This is bad. Just follow the route and keep an eye on it. The cops are still searching. Your route's gonna get us killed. Sit back and keep quiet. Just stick to the plan. I know what I'm doing. That how your buddy wound up dead? Keep your head down. Uh, squad, we're gonna work the alleys and see if we can flush them out. Copy that. All surrounding bridges are still up except the wells. You've got support inbound on the wells. Plan, talk to me. You need to calm down. You got the island locked up. Stick to the back alleys, garages, keep out of sight. If you see me kill the engine and cut the lights, you keep quiet. Just be an old parked car. Understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shit. My hands will stop shaking. You ever seen a guy shot in the guts before? Too many. To me, I'm freaking out here. Hey, maybe, maybe Eddie's alive, huh? He, he, he took one to the belly. I heard that's the best place to get shot. Oh, fuck, man. They said you were good. You did it. Why's the club boss meeting us? He's not meeting us. He's meeting you.
Someone knew. I swear, I don't know what happened. There wasn't supposed to be anybody. I, I mean, it's a computer plant, right? I turn around, the alarm's going off. The cops got there so fast. <laughs> I didn't... Shh. Quiet now. It's all over, son. I got it, Elise, right? That's what matters. It is indeed what matters most. This is how the world turns. Not much room for fuck-ups. Oh, oh, I get that, Mr. Quinn. I do. It wasn't my fuck-up, though. Yeah, it wasn't. Carol, calm now. It's all right. Calm? Get a chance to talk to your mama? Call your friends? Your girl? No, sir. I was in a hurry. That's good. Very good. Tell your employer I'll call again. If ever I need a, another delivery. Lucky fucking Quinn. He runs the Chicago South Club. These assholes have been preying on Chicago since before I was born. I could have done the city a huge favor if I put one between his eyes. But this is exactly what I've been trying to stay away from. It always comes back hard. That can't happen again. Hey, how'd it go? You finished that job yet? Yeah? You thought I'd be okay working for the fucking club? A paycheck is a paycheck. You gotta start separating the morals from the moolah. Relax. Listen, I can hook you up with my guy. He'll find you better driving gigs if you want. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I'll take them. Give him my name. Who says no to extra cash, right? Oh, and since you asked, Maurice is doing just fine in his new home. I've got something for you. We need to meet. Meet? What, face to face? Should I look for a guy in a mask? No mask. Just follow my signal. I thought you never wanted to meet. I don't. But we need to meet. always protecting his identity. That's how DedSec works. Now he wants to meet. That's unusual. All right, I'm gonna try and shake him off his game. Let's see what he's up to. Someone is fucking with my life. 
threatening my family, and at the same moment, the mysterious bad boy wants to meet me, and he is a she. He is a lie. Listen, I need to trust you, Clara. I wouldn't trust me if I were you. But here's a reason to listen. The text message you sent me? I know where to find him. Yeah, well, we don't need to meet face to face for that. No. We needed a face to face for this. You wanted that sex to some axe? You got me in. You should be nicer to me. I'm about to open your world. Yeah. Well, you're not the first woman to promise me that. Mm. They do all their nasty work through this. And they don't know I have access. Well, you stole it. <laughs> this is powerful. Just don't be stupid. You screw around and you get people hurt. Worst. Hmm. Well, I don't think you trust me. Give me a reason to trust you. All right. The guy I sent the text, how do we find him? We work together. You with everything I just told. Me, tracking his signal. You're not quite what I expected. And you're exactly as I expected, Aiden. Trying to look for cracks. So did you find any? Wouldn't you love to know?
see what's ahead. The layout shows a wide open indoor plaza. More guards, no doubt. Oh, those hacks I uploaded to your phone? It's a perfect distraction. You can disrupt the equipment of any guard in there. Equipment like what? Anything. Hack their phones, earpieces, explosives. Everything runs off computer chips these days. Okay, I'll try it. Can you scan me the offices? Find me someone with an unsecured laptop. Got one. Bradley Coughlin. Oh, oh no. <laughs> He's a security director. Of course he is. Once I hack in, you move fast. Track or call and get out. It won't take long for security to spot the intrusion. Don't worry about me. Making a move. I'm telling you, it's not just an ad. It blocks my entire view. Just one enormous fucking, oh shit. Someone's hacked in. Oh fuck me. Lock down the building. Find him now. Okay, I got you in. Can you track the caller? I'm searching now. Carlis, the police are coming. They've got hiding scans that are hard to shake. You need to get out of there.
Fast enough. Does DedSec know a way to jam their scans? Wait. I think we do. Here it is. Whoa. I'm sending it to you. Of this cat and mouse. I got your mouse. This call was made from an apartment in the loop. Finally. Just be careful, Aiden. The way he bounced the signal around, I think he wants you to find him. Well, I certainly don't want to disappoint him. my family and wants to meet. He knew exactly how to get my attention. Fine, I'll take the bait. Data flows are split. There must be two CTOS boxes. this bellwether I knew you'd find me you 
you always were one for a mystery. How are you, Aiden? Damien Branks. The hell is he doing? I hope you don't mind the games. Wanted to see if you'd lost your edge. We need to talk. And, uh, you'll want to be quick. Breaking in like you did tripped an alarm. This isn't what I had planned for us. But we're about to be interrupted. Come find me. I'll pick someplace nice. Why would he harass my sister? We haven't spoken since... the Merlot. Looks like there's a new target for all you hitters out there. Drop what you're doing and get on it. Clever boy. Picks are ready. Damien. Tell me you miss me. You had that punk call my sister. Why am I here, Damien? You're always so grim, Aiden. My God. Don't you ever loosen up? I want my partner back. Me at the computer. You in the field doing the manly work. I'm here to help you. We both want the same things. Answers? Who attacked us? And I happen to know that you've hit a wall. Yeah, I figured. So, I come bearing glad tidings. The Merlot. The Merlot? Mm -hmm. The Merlot was your fuck up. Bullshit. You bailed on a perfectly good scheme. No one would have found out if you just stood by me. Six-year-old girl. 
My niece died because you went too far. Oh, you're adorable. Blaming your family problems on me? Damien crossed the line, he made the bad man angry. What about me? What about you? You're not the only one suffering. They made me a cripple. They took everything from me. Don't you see? That's what binds us together. You got nothing I need. There was another hacker. There was a second hacker. And I know how to find him. And that may be, Damien. But you can't do it on your own. You need me. Your big problem is... I don't need you. Don't walk away. This is the lead. Thanks for the tip. I used to look up to Damien. Taught me how to ferret out weak code and exploit it. And I taught him how to do the same without a computer. People can be more vulnerable than their systems. You were a strong team. After Lena, I was done with him. I didn't waste time thinking about him. And now he's creeping back in. I need to know what he's got on the Merlot. Who keeps leaving the flowers? No. But that girl has a lot of friends. Had. This is about letting go. I know. We've all suffered a horrible nightmare, but you have to stop trying to fix it. I'm not trying to fix anything. Aiden. I know what you're doing. I know you're chasing after the people that did this. When you do that, you put us all in danger again. You are not in danger. Because I protect you. Do you hear yourself? Aiden, why can't you stop? Because... I need to know. You are my brother, and I love you. But Jackson is my world, and I will keep you away in a second before I let him get hurt. Promise me you will stop. You can't save Lena. I killed her. No, you didn't. blame you but promise me you will stop we need this as a family I promise Where is he? 
And Jordy can be a pain to work with. He's the devil I know. Things were different. I might be hunting him down. Or vice versa. But if he says we got a problem, I need to take it as a massive understatement. Can't let the survivor ID me. Everything's gonna spiral out of control. buildings is pretty tight so people like this feel nice and secure living way up here i mean these people just had a, a simple chain lock on their door i guess they want to have a good look at the pizza guy before they open it all the way all right fine sure so about this problem well that's why i brought the bolt cutters he opens the door this much there's a chain right there i slip him in and snip and guess what it's not the pizza guy jordy the problem let's deal with it we are dealing with it we're in the midst of solutions here, Pierce. You don't appreciate what I do for you. You don't realize how much I take care of you, do you? Really? Yeah. Well, do me a favor. Let's get on with it. How much time do we have? Well, as much as we need. Oh, you remember the stiff from the stadium? He's not so stiff anymore. The uh, cops got him in Chicago lockup, and oh, he's about to walk into an interrogation and point a finger. Right at you. How did that happen? Kick me when I'm down. Look at the view. See there? Call went out this morning. Somebody's paying Buku bucks to grab this clown and make him talk. And one of those guys is running the assignment. Well, it seems like me and him need to have a little chat. Yeah, but this time, don't do that empty gun thing. Poor Maurice pissed himself after your last show. Don't worry about my methods. You know how to use that thing? Just get your ass down there, I got you covered. And don't kill the boss this time. You kinda need him. You think? watching this guy.
Watch out, you got a fan. Oh, man. I know that guy. Which one? I always forget his name. The guy with the ears. The, the Dooley Dawson. Is he a friend? I don't really have friends. Duncan might be a B name. You have no idea who he is. Oh, well, guess not. I'm taking him out. Douglas! What? That was his name, Douglas. Oh, shit. Too late. You shot him. I couldn't remember his name. That sucks. I like that guy. Had a lot of rabbi jokes. Fuck me if I can remember a single one of them. Do you think you could enjoy yourself a little less? Choose a job you love, and you never have to work a day in your life. Ah, find him! What is that? is inside that office. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Who's assigned to the prison job? What? Man, I don't know what you're talking about. Lance Brenner. As a family. What are you doing? I'm asking you how your family is. Looks like you got two lives going at once. Family man. And yeah, the kids are gonna be in college soon. It's pricey for a union rep. Fuck you. Yeah, and there's also the second life. Ghost accounts with a lot of money in them. Hey. Do you know that your name is tied to a whole bunch of cold cases? <laughs> I bet the cops would love a chat. Okay, hold on. You want a piece of the cash? I can cut you in. You're wasting my time. All right, all right! Fuck. Prison job. It's Angelo Tucci. He's running a convoy. It's too late. You'll never find him. Who says I want him? Bet he's got a family in town. Why do you want his family? The fuck is wrong with you? I wouldn't know where to begin. How bad? Remember Kinderhook? Shit. Hell yeah, I got him.
ever call me back? Did you find the guy we traced? Yeah. Some bad history there. Listen, I need to find someone else. This time I have a name, Helena Tucci. She's related to a guy I'm after. Does she live in Chicago? Yeah, I need a location right now. Got her. Wow, she's got a serious digital footprint. Okay, this morning she posted about a meeting today outside the Willis Tower. All right, I'll call you when I'm there. You may need more help. Okay, I'm at the Willis Tower. What do you got on Helena? Looking through her status updates. She likes selfies. Here she is making a duck face, a spiral face. She loves her cats too. Why are you targeting this clueless girl? I'm not. I need to find her uncle fast and Helena's gonna point the way. <gasps> Okay, here's something. She posted a pic this morning. Her outfit for the day. Dark hair and glasses. And she's showing off a green backpack. Thank you, social media. That's a start. I'll keep digging. medical records. She had an abortion last year. That might explain the therapist she's seeing. Why are we prying this deep? I don't need a history, Clara. I need a location. Hey, I start the search and information just comes in. I don't control the content. Hold on. Perfect. She just posted a status update. She's inside Connolly Square. It's a glass structure. Should be right near you. I got it. Nice work, Clara. Now delete those files. I'm dead sick, Aiden. We believe information should be free. Clara. Relax. We don't pick on innocent girls. Miss Tucci? 
I'm Dr. Hyatt with the Chicago General Hospital. We received your Uncle Angelo's blood work, but you're the only number he gave us. Do you know where we can reach him? It's urgent. No, sorry. I haven't heard from my uncle in years. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Wait for it. Yeah. Hey, Uncle Angie. Elena! You need concert tickets again? No, listen. I got a weird call. I think the cops are looking for you. What? Damn it, you calling me just gave them a trace. Hang up now. Gotcha. Where are you, Angelo Tucci? There you are. Angelo Tucci. This guy's leading the prison transfer for my witness. Somebody's paying Tucci for the vigilante's identity. Somebody wants my name. Good luck with that. I'm uh, getting a little nervous here, Pierce. Did you find him? I'm tracking his GPS. Cut him off before he reaches the prison. Nice.
Contacts in the prison. I already asked if they could make our guys slip in the shower. They're dirty, but they're not that dirty. I'm gonna get arrested. Of course you are. Why the hell are you doing that? This witness we're after, he's a nobody. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He wasn't looking for me. I don't want to kill him. I just want him to understand I can reach him anywhere, anytime. That is a terrible plan. I love it. I'll find a map of the joint. Talk you through it once you're inside. Anything you need? My phone? Jesus, you have a problem. You need to unplug. Jordy, I need my phone. They'll confiscate it the second I'm in. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I got just a guy. He's begging to settle his debt. You get your phone. Sheer the sidewalk. Palin Correctional Center. They recently upgraded the place with Bloom's state-of-the-art security. Network locks, automated surveillance. If they were holding the guy in an older prison, I'd have a problem. But Bloom's right on this one. They do make life easier through technology.
sign. Uh, obviously? Cut the shit. I should have sent you in here. This was your mistake. You might want to keep it down. You'll end up with a free trip to solitary. I can't get... This guy had his own Picasso ink all over his face. Ugly as shit. Makes him an easy mark. He's up here somewhere. Change your plan. Our prisoner transfer was a bust. So your plan B. What do you need us to do? Whatever it takes to get this guy talking. You got it. Say right, you come by that shit I'm about to set up an execution. That's stupid. I gotta deal with something. Nah, oh, man. He can stop worrying about that dude. He ain't real. Hello. Now, I'm gonna get you off the roof. That's a problem. 
Some guards just took our guy. They're in the basement. the little crooked operation being run out of this joint. Look at you bringing justice back to the prison system. Door's empty. Door's wide open. Those silent alarms have gone off. Watch your back. What's a couple of bottom feeders doing at the stadium? Doing a deal without cutting us in? Think we don't have friends in high places? They expect a cut, too. <gasps> no! I, I told you already. It wasn't a deal. Got called, man. Fuck that trick. Stop lying.
inside. How'd you get inside, man? You know, it was pretty simple. These high-tech security prisons, they make it quite easy, really. Have we met? What? Have we met? Uh, no. No, I've never seen you, man. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think so. So you're in here for 60 days. In good behavior, you're out in 30. <clears throat> what does that say? 60 years? What are you doing, man? I'm just showing you an alternate future. You know, in case you get the urge to share your stories or... Make a deal with the cops. We're clear, right? All units possible prison escape. Be on the lookout for white male, Joe Smith. I need a unit up to the laundry. We've lost communication. Copy. We're on it. Gordy, it's done. Fantastic. I'm guessing you're eager to get out of there. There's a care package on its way for you. Where? Don't worry. You'll see it.